predictions for 50 years from now or, or 100 years from now seems pretty hard, especially if you look back 50 years and ask, could we have predicted what we see today? Uh, I think there are several features of whatever the internet is 50 years from now that will still be there. I think it has benefited enormously from the openness of its architecture. So however it evolves, I think openness will still be very important. Layering will still be very important. Radio-based communications will be uh, just as important uh, then, 50 years from now as it is now. Uh, we will have moved up into much higher frequencies. Uh, base stations will have gotten closer together. Um, we will probably be making use of uh, free space lasers in addition to optical fiber. Uh, fiber is still by far the most uh, capacious of the underlying transport technologies. There's a report uh, recently from a research lab uh, that demonstrated a 40 terabit per second uh, optical fiber system using 1024 QAM on a single channel. And so, I mean, that's just an enormous amount of capacity. And now if you have multiple fibers, you can just do the math and realize how much capacity there still is to be extracted uh, from fiber-based things. Costs will come down. Uh, you can already see that if you look at undersea cables right now, you'll see a proliferation of undersea cable technology. Uh, companies like Google are starting to build their own cables because they're affordable, uh, more so than before, before you had to have a consortium of people. Uh, I think that um, internet-based um, devices will be everywhere. They'll be embedded in homes, they'll, they'll be embedded in our bodies, or at least they'll be carried by us. We're seeing that already. The internet of things is already starting to happen. Uh, we even have an example of what's going on as a result of the pandemic uh, right now. There are doctors who are saying, please don't come into the office. We don't wanna catch the COVID-19 disease. Uh, let's have a consultation remotely as we are doing uh, right now. And of course, my reaction to this is what kind of medicine is that? You didn't take my temperature and my blood pressure and my pulse rate. and everything else. So, you know, what kind of medicine can you practice? And of course, one of the answers is, well, we need remote sensors. And so I think uh, the internet of medical things will almost certainly have evolved dramatically over a 50 year period. Uh, the, not, the idea of remote consultation capture of, um, of uh, the physio physiology of a person will become much more normal. And of course, we'll be gathering genetic information and, uh, and all of that that entails, uh, including uh, you know, the, uh, the biome uh, in the gut, which is, plays such a powerful role in our immune system. So there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. Um, I think just looking at the computational side of things, everyone here is, keeps hearing computational X, computational biology, computational cosmology, computational linguistics. Uh, and, and even computation in aid of the humanities and arts. And so 50 years from now, I think computing will not be thought of in, in some special way. Computation will be normal. All kinds of devices will have both computing and communications capability. We won't even think about it. You know, of course, you know, of course these devices around the house uh, are able to use the net, um, it, and it will be either wireless or wired or both. So I think we, we may still call it the internet, even if the implementation is dramatically changed over time, but the idea that we will casually assume communications is possible will be there. Now, machine learning has also taught us that uh, we can make these systems more um, convenient to interact with whether that's speech communication uh, or, or diagrams or something else. And we're also starting to see great success in translation. So I think that we could easily have this conversation maybe 10 years from now, not, not having to wait 50 years from now, where each of us gets to choose whichever our preferred language is and the system will translate back and forth uh, from the speaker's language to the recipient's preferred language. And I think we will get to the point where it's actually pretty reliable. We're not very far uh, away from that today, uh, at least in some languages. So uh, it will be ubiquitous. It will be high speed. 
and it will be um, implemented in almost any device that's capable of holding a, a piece of computing. <laughs>